Division by a monomial is a relatively simple process compared to division by a polynomial with more than one term. The idea here, because we have only one term in our divisor, is that we can simply divide each term of the dividend by the divisor. So what I'm going to do here is just take these terms one at a time, starting with 8x to the fifth y squared. and writing it as an expression over the denominator 2x squared y. That's my first term. My next term is minus 6x cubed y to the fourth divided by 2x squared y. And my last term is plus 2xy to the sixth divided by 2x squared y. Now in order to simplify each one of these terms, all I have to apply are the laws of exponents and general reducing fractions kind of techniques. So starting with the numbers, 8 over 2, that's going to leave me 4 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator just by rules of canceling common factors in fractions. My x to the power 5 over x to the power 2, I use the quotient rule, which tells me to subtract the exponents. That's going to leave me with x to the power 3, and that x to the power 3 will end up in the numerator because the larger power is in the numerator. Then looking at y squared over y to the power 1, again that's quotient rule, subtracting the exponents, gives me y to the power 1, which also ends up in the numerator, because again, in this case, the larger power is in the numerator. Proceeding like this for the other terms, again, applying the quotient rule for all of the exponents, and just reducing fractions for all of the numeric factors. x to the 3 over x to the 2 is x to the 1, also in the numerator and y to the 4 over y to the 1 gives me y to the 3, also in the numerator. On my final expression, 2 over 2, those drop out completely, leaving me with a factor of 1. x over x squared, we will again subtract the exponents, but we have to be a little cautious this time because the larger power is in the denominator, that x to the 1 that we have remaining ends up in the denominator. And for our y's, we have y to the 6th over y to the 1. When we apply the quotient rule to that, we end up with y to the 5th. Since the larger power of y is in the numerator, that's where this factor ends up. So putting this all together, my first term is 4 x cubed y. My second term is 3x y cubed. And my last term is y to the power 5 over x. Very important that that x end up in the denominator. We don't have a numeric coefficient for that last term. The numbers all canceled out.